Boy, these animals are producing a lot of poo. This is a good thing as it will be used for making solid and liquid fertilizer. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for another episode of Farming Sim Chronicles. Be sure to like and subscribe for all of the latest content. As a farmer from Morris, Manitoba, Canada, we understand the importance of having a successful crop season. This is why the team and I have been working hard to prepare 1,200 acres of land for planting canola. We are hoping for much better yields than we experienced in the previous season. Canola is a valuable crop for farmers in Canada, as it is a major source of income for many of us. The oil from canola is used in a variety of products, such as cooking oil, biofuels, and even as a feed for livestock. Additionally, canola meal which is a byproduct of oil production, is a valuable source of protein for livestock feed. It was a crisp spring morning as the sun rose over the vast expanse of the farm. I stood at the edge of my 1,200 acres of land, surveying the fields that would soon be filled with the vibrant yellow color of canola. The previous year had not been a good one for the farm, and we had saved up enough money to invest in a large batch of canola seed. We were excited to get started on planting. In order to ensure a successful canola crop, there are a number of steps that need to be taken in the planning and preparation stages. The first step is selecting the right variety of canola for the specific area where it will be planted. There are many different varieties of canola available, each with their own unique characteristics and requirements. By selecting a variety that is well suited to the soil and climate conditions of our farm, we can increase our chances of having a successful crop. Another important step in preparing for a canola crop is ensuring that the soil is in optimal condition. This includes testing the soil for pH levels, nutrient content, and any potential issues such as pests or diseases. Based on the results of the soil tests, we can make any necessary adjustments to the soil to ensure that it is ready for planting. Once the land has been prepared and the seed has been selected, it is time to plant the canola. The timing of planting is crucial, as canola needs to be planted at a specific time in order to ensure optimal growth and development. This can vary depending on the specific variety of canola, as well as the climate conditions in the area. After planting, it is important to keep a close eye on the crop as it grows. This includes monitoring for any potential issues such as pests or diseases, and taking action if necessary. Additionally, regular fertilization and irrigation is necessary to ensure that the canola has all the necessary nutrients and water to grow strong and healthy. The planting process was a success, and the team was pleased with how well the canola was taken to the soil. They knew that this was just the beginning and that there was much more work to be done. In the coming weeks, they would be plowing and planting corn and soybeans, in addition to expanding the farm into forestry as another source of income. Despite the hard work ahead, the team remained optimistic. They were confident in their abilities and the potential for a bountiful harvest. They knew that it would take a lot of hard work, but they were willing to put in the effort to make the farm a success. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next live stream. You can find all the links in the description below. See you next time.